a unique film was made, which was hurled as the birth of Sri Lankan cinema. In the 1950s, three individuals, Lester James Parries, William Blake, and Titus De Silva, quit the government film unit to embark work on a feature film. Coming from a documentary background, their knowledge of feature filmmaking was inadequate. <laughs> However, Lester wrote a script and shooting commenced. The story was about a village boy who supposedly possessed the gift of healing. This opening sequence, with a singing stilt walker and a monkey followed by a group of boys, took a long time to film. Also, the following days saw a torrential surge of rain. Nearly 20 days of filming was lost. The filming schedule was rattled again when a chickenpox epidemic affected the village, including director Lester. Two whole months of shooting was lost. Challenges were further compounded by the fact that the film was shot outdoors. Most previous films were produced within the predictable confines of studios. Previously, Lester had seen filmmaker Carol Reed use an Aeroflex camera for location shooting, so Lester got the particular model from Germany. Willie Blake was the cameraman. The filming was largely a process of trial and error and took a significant amount of time. <laughs> Gamaka, 
इधर हुआ एक कामरा का प्रयोग कर लूँगा एक है या पे जीवन तो नहीं हुए मास आठ आठ हैं Lester also faced another obstacle. Most of the actors were influenced by stage acting in overdramatic films, so they had to be taught how to act naturally. The film also included some memorable songs composed by Sunil Shantha, a renowned singer and lyricist. The accompanying visuals for the songs were greatly complemented by the exceptional camera work of Willie Blake. During the process of shooting, Lester met British director David Lean, who was in Sri Lanka for his movie, Bridge on the River Kwai. Lester mentioned that he was waiting for monsoon rains for the final scenes of his film. Lean jovially quipped, you don't have to wait for rain, get a hose fixed to a bath shower, and you have rain in plenty. So, for the climactic sequence, water was pumped in from a nearby river and sprayed up to a height of 60 feet. was later edited by Titus, who also functioned as an assistant director. However, the movie flopped on its release, but was well regarded internationally. In 1970, film historian Donald Ritchie held a retrospective of Lester's work at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, where he stated that Lester James Perry's is to Ceylon what Satyajit Ray is to India. Now, the film is a beloved classic and holds the distinction of being the first film that presented an authentic Sri Lankan experience to cinema goers. Nangala, Gangul to Tille, Malla Tirille.